Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Luke and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Vux ORM. So we're gonna kind of write some code of the API before we actually get started. Because once you can wrap your head around what Vux ORM can do, you're gonna get super excited and you're gonna be even keener to learn this amazing plugin. So here's a quick high level view of Vux ORM. Now let's imagine that we're creating a to-do app. So you might have, for example, a list and that list might have a title. As well as that, you might have an item that is in that list, and that item might have a description. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. You guys have probably built to-do apps before. Now, the problem is, if you fetch a list from the server, and you fetch it with items nested inside it, the problem is you end up having reactivity problems, all right? So later on down the line, you might reach a point where you grab that list with its items, but then you realize that when you start changing the item, it doesn't change and it doesn't update properly and you start running into all of Vue's reactivity caveats. And the solution to that is doing what's called normalizing your data, all right? So what we wanna do is we wanna grab the list with the items from the server and we wanna make it so that those items are sort of pulled apart and then the list will find all of those items via IDs. Now, don't worry if you don't understand all of what I just said then, it's gonna be explained later on. So what Vux ORM allows us to do is avoid a lot of those caveats by normalizing the data. And this is what the API looks like. You can do stuff like this, list.query, and then you can say with items, and then get. So how cool is that? You can say, all right, dive into the list and give me all of its items as well and get that. And that's going to give you the list with the items. However, if these items change, right, when we start making changes to those items, everything will update correctly. So all of those caveats that we used to have to worry about with Vux um, and using Vue in general, we don't even have to worry about it anymore. And we get this beautiful API right out of the box. Another thing you can do is you can filter data. So you might say, for example, list.query, and you might say dot where, uh, let's, let's, what's a good example here? Well, we've got a title, so you can say where title is equal to my list dot get. And it will only give you the list where the title is equal to my list or something that's even more useful. Let's just say a list has something called all done. It's not a great example, but you get the idea. You'll be able to say where all done is equal to true. So you can just query through all of the lists where all done is equal to true. And look how beautiful and fluent that is. Now, another thing that we can do is just grab them all. We'll be able to say list.all. So you don't even need to add query when you're doing that. We'll be able to insert data in a bunch of easy ways like this, list.insert. And then we can pass through the data like this. And then the list items. So you might have, for example, what, what, what did we have? We had a title for that list and that might be my list, right? And that's how easy it is to insert something into the database with Vux ORM. Or you might want to enter an array of lists. So you can do something like this. The title is equal to my list. The title is equal to my other list. And you can do that all in one. So that's really, really awesome. Another thing you can do is list.create, which is basically the same as this, except it's going to replace all of the data. So that can be really handy as well, especially when you're like updating stuff on the front end, when you're like getting things anew. You can also say list.insert or update. And what that'll do is it'll insert the data or update it if it needs to. So for example, if your data has an ID field, it will look for that ID field. And if the data already exists, then it'll update it. Another thing you can do is you can say list.update. So you can just directly update the data. And because we're using Vux ORM's API, we don't have to worry about reactivity problems at all. Trust me, it is absolute bliss. Now, one more thing just to get you excited. This works with a whole bunch of different types of relationships. So you've got one-to-one -one relationships. You've got one-to-many relationships. You've got many-to-many -many relationships. You've got all your polymorphic relationships as well. How do I spell that? Polymorphic. So you've got all of these different relationships that Vux ORM supports. And it gets even cooler, right? It gets even cooler. When you're select inserting stuff, from an API, any nested data, any nested data within that list 
will automatically be inserted as well. So if you're doing this massive API call where you've got a list and you've got items and then maybe within those items, you've got, I don't know, some sub items, this can automatically insert all of that for you uh, using the relationships that you define. So that is unbelievably awesome. I can't wait to teach you about this framework. So keep watching and I'll see you in the getting started video.